Hey guys, welcome back to One House Pub. This is a uh, video response, even though we're not allowed to do VRs officially anymore, uh, thanks to YouTube. Uh, but anyway, a video response to uh, Toad Stickers Top 5 EDC Knives. So I thought I'd just throw one out there too. Uh, these are, as of today, February 28th, these are my Top 5 EDC, uh, primary EDC knives. Uh, go ahead and start at the bottom here and work our way up. Uh, these aren't necessarily in any particular order, although this one probably is first. Uh, this is the Hinderer Warncliffe, uh, the same one you've seen uh, in my Warverine, Warnverine uh, getup with the yellow scale. I've got blue on right now. I really like the blue on this a lot too, so I kind of tend to go back and forth on these two uh, scales. Um, but uh, yeah, this is probably my most carried knife at the moment and has been since I, since I got it. Uh, just love this knife a ton. It's so smooth. It flips so well. And, uh, you know, I just love Henders. So there you go. So that's uh, probably my number one, I guess. Although I'm not necessarily trying to put these in any kind of ranking order. I'll just kind of let that one fly as number one. Uh, so another, other than that, in no particular order, I'll just show you the next Hender. And that is this guy, my slicer. Um, this Panto could... Actually, I, you know, I have a Hinder 3.5-inch XM Spanto, too, and that could easily be in this list as well. Uh, but recently, I haven't carried it as much because these two, which are newer to the to my Hinder herd here, uh, have been getting much more pocket time. Um, uh, Spanto I've had for the longest of all of them, and it sits uh, you know, in the, in the Pelican case a lot more now. And just because these two are relatively newer, uh, they tend to get more of the XM18 pocket time when it comes to that. So... Uh, I'll just put these two in my top five for now. Uh, great knife, though, of course, the slicer. Uh, flips great as well. Uh, both uh, this and the Morney or S35VN. Um, great knives, both Gen 4s. Uh, you might see this with uh, a lot of different color scales on it, too. I have several different Hinderer scales, so uh, flat darker. Uh, brown essentially but flat dark earth as they call it is another favor to have of this one so looks really good too with the uh there we go with the um anodized standoffs there bronze anodized very nice and uh i don't know if i showed this one real quick i'll just pop back over here real quick and this guy since i got the blue on i'm kind of doing the reverse wolverine theme here worn green theme and i have some brass standoffs in there, kind of a gold effect, so, so that guy. Alright, so those are my two hinderers, which are definitely, uh, well, two of my three, which are kind of, at least in the, and I'm kind of taking this from, like, the last couple months kind of thing, I've, and these two I've certainly carried much more uh, than the Spanto, so I'll leave the Spanto off the list just for now, nothing against the Spanto, no anti-Spanto here, no non-Spanto love, just uh, don't want to have... Uh, three hinderers because these other three I actually carry a lot of too and I didn't want to kick one of these out since I already had two hinderers in there I just left the spanto off all right next is the Chris Reeve Sabenza 21 in Singo the large version another fantastic knife which is so easy to love uh, it's a great knife <laughs> I really love this knife too so I am uh, definitely a fan been tempted to get a uh, a large 21 just with the regular you know clip point or drop point or whatever the heck it is blade um but i don't know if i will or if i won't i'm not sure i certainly love this in single so much that sometimes i don't think i need that but great knife uh arguably the finest pocket clip in knife dumb uh carries perfectly i love i love the way this carries it carries deep but not completely hidden just a little bit sticking out it's exactly how i like it Double retention with the little recurve here uh, gives you extra uh, security there, and uh, just um, just a great pocket clip all around. And of course the in single blade, which is just fantastic. All right, as you can tell, I'm definitely. If you've not been able to tell that already by uh, watching my channel, you'll know that I am a kind of a Warren Cliff guy. So I definitely dig that blade shape. And all of its various guises, Warncliffe, Sheep's Foot, whatever. All right, next up, the classic Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. Everybody loves a pair of two, and I am absolutely no exception. I have owned a lot of these in my day. Uh, this one, 
particular I picked up uh, most recently, and uh, this is a great one. I actually, a little bit of trial and tribulation with it, but actually had to, uh, I probably will do a separate video on this knife, I should. But when I first got it, it had pretty good blade play, and it was pretty annoying. Um, and uh, I was kind of disappointed in it in that regard. But I took it apart, and I found, here on the hole in the blade, I found some, um, a burr from the manufacturing process when I cut the hole for the pivot. Uh, and um, stick a little Spyderco stone to that, one of my little um, brown stones. Sand it right off, put it back together, and voila! Very rock solid now. So, excellent little knife. Has great action. This thing just is butter smooth. It's just, it's almost Benza smooth. Yeah, it really is. It's just got incredible action. Not that they all don't have. Like I said, I've had several of these knives, and they've all had great action. But this one in particular is just really nice. Um, yeah, very nice. Paramilitary 2 is just such a classic knife. If you don't own a Paramilitary 2, I know there's a lot of hype surrounding this knife, and it's hard to get a hold of sometimes. Um, but, man, you just you got to have one. This is such a great knife. I actually have two. This and a, and a black 210 one. Fantastic knife. Highly recommended. And gets a lot of pocket time um, in my EDC rotation. And next, again in no particular order, uh, my new, relatively a couple weeks old now, I think, two or three weeks old, Cold Steel Code 4. Since getting this knife, I have not been able to get it out of my pocket. It rides in my pocket a couple days a week at least, or more. I really am enjoying this knife. Love the thinness of it. Love the, uh, the, the, the classic... Uh, American Tonto blade shape uh, of cold steel here. Um, carries so well. Ergonomics, supreme ergonomics. Actually, the ergonomics on it are so similar. And you can see it in the handle shape to a hinderer. Uh, you know, to get your recurve here for your, your choil here and then your second one here. This does have a, a second curve back here. So when you're holding this knife, uh, you know, you have this convex curve going this way which fills the head nicely there but this knife has a concave here and it, it while well, it doesn't fill the hand those two fingers fit in there really nice it feels really good I don't know they're not exactly the same but boy I get a, the same kind of a warm fuzzy from them they both kind of have that, that organic uh, curved uh, banana shape to the handle I guess you could call it I don't know great uh, great handle um, the cold steel is a uh, the least expensive of all these, um, and but it is getting, whoops, there you go, refocus please, it is getting plenty of pocket time, and uh, another just really smooth knife, and that tends to be, honestly, that tends to be something that really kind of uh, turns me on with knives, if they're smooth, every one of these, I mean, a hinderer is so smooth, you know, hinderers, so smooth, Sabenza, so smooth, So smooth. This particular, all all pair of twos are great when it comes to smoothness, but this particular one is the smoothest I've ever owned. Very nice. And then this guy, and for a triad lock access, you know, or excuse me, not access, a triad lock, a back lock, you know, essentially, you wouldn't expect smoothness out of this, but man, it is a very smooth knife. Very smooth knife. Oops. Anyway, so those are my five as of today. February 28th, 2014. So if you're watching this and you want to uh, kind of post up a VR, not that we can because you can't post those directly anymore, but what the heck, uh, let's see yours. Uh, all right, thanks guys for watching. That's one all's two cents and my five primary EDC knives. Keep the change. Let's launch it.